In this video, we are going to solve a problem on group theory and electronic transition. The problem, they have given the character table for C3V point group. Which one of the following transition is forbidden? The given options are A1 to A1, A1 to E, A2 to E, A1 to A2. This problem is somewhat simple if you had come across this concept earlier. They are given four transitions. The first one, it is A1 to A1. I am going to consider this as ground state. This is exited state. Now what I am going to do, I am going for the direct product of the ground state and the exited state and the irreducible representation that corresponds to x, y and z. When I go for that, if I get totally symmetric irreducible representation, then this transition is allowed. For example, I go for this particular transition itself. The ground state is A1 and the exited state it is A1. The irreducible representation for Z is A1. This I got from the character table. When I go for this, what I get is A1. I have got totally symmetric irreducible representation because of that it is allowed. At the same time, when I go for the irreducible representation that corresponds to x and y coordinates, that is nothing but E, I will get E. It is not totally symmetric. But still, this transition is allowed. So it is not compulsory that I should get totally symmetric irreducible representation for all three coordinates. For at least one I should get. Here I have got for z coordinate because of that it is allowed transition. The second transition is a1 to e. Once again I go for a similar calculation. This is ground state. e is the exited state. The irreducible representation that corresponds to z axis is a1. When I go for the product, direct product, what I get is e. I have not got the totally symmetric irreducible representation. I go for the direct product with e. So this is the irreducible representation for x and y coordinate. When I go for this, What I get is 1 into 2 into 2 will be 4, 1 into minus 1 into minus 1, 1, this will be 0. I get characters like this. This particular character is not there in the point group, in the character table. So this is called reducible representation. Further, this can be converted into irreducible representation. For example, the characters can be split like this 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1. When I add these three, what I get is 4, 1, 0. So the reducible representation can be split into E a1 and A2. So here I have got totally symmetric irreducible representation. So it is not compulsory that all the time I should get totally symmetric irreducible representation. I may get reducible representation which has totally symmetric irreducible representation as one of the components. So here I have got that. 
So because of that, this transition is allowed. I go for the third transition, A to 2, E. A2 is the ground state, E is the exit state, A1 is the coordinate for Z axis. The characters are when I go for the direct product, whatever I get is 2 minus 1, 0. It is nothing but E. It is not totally symmetric because of that it is not allowed. I go for the irreducible representation that corresponds to x and y coordinates also. When I go for this, the value whatever I get is 4, 1, 0. This value already we have got. So this is called reducible representation. It can be split into A1, A2 and E. Here I have totally symmetric irreducible representation because of that it is allowed. Finally, let us go for A1 to A2. I go for the direct product A2, A1 into A1. This is for the this is the irreducible representation for z coordinate a1 into a1 will be a1 a1 into a2 will be a2 the characters will be 1 1 minus 1 it is not symmetric because of that it is not allowed let's go for a1 a2 and e this is for x and y coordinate when i go for this what I get is two minus one zero. Here I have got E. Further it cannot be reduced. So the first one it is not totally symmetric. This also is not totally symmetric because of that this particular transition is forbidden.